Hey YouTube, Drone Tech here. I've uh, not been doing many review videos, although I did make an attempt uh, about a month or two ago. I haven't really uh, done much since then. But uh, I came across this video today and thought I definitely have to do a review of this video. It is uh, cringe-inducing, to say the least. What we have here is a meeting of the DNC chair candidates and a white uh, Idaho Democrat Party executive director. She is a typical guilty white racist liberal who thinks that in order to uh, fix racism, what we really need to do is be extremely racist towards white people and discriminate against white people and just generally hate white people because the level of hatred you show towards white people shows minorities how much you're down with their cause. Okay, enough of me talking. Uh, let's take a look at this video. And it makes me sad that we're even having that conversation. And that tells me that white leaders in our party have failed. We have to accept that there is prejudice that exists within our own party. And we have to be able to have that conversation. Yeah, there's definitely prejudice in the Democrat Party. You, this woman is displaying it right now. She's targeted a group of people based on their skin color in her party. And she's saying that these people need to take a step to the back of the line, need to sit at the back of the bus. Now, she's going to go even further and get even wackier, so I don't want to get too ahead of myself here. This is another great example of how it seems liberals and Democrats have this ability to rationalize away their hypocrisy. They never, they never see their double standards or their contradictions as hypocrisy. They just always have some sort of a rationalization for it. And that's actually one of the reasons I think they're kind of dangerous, because I think that they could probably rationalize anything. And in a moment, you're going to see this woman actually uh, promote the segregation and almost second-class citizen status of white people within the Democratic Party. We cannot sweep that under the rug. We cannot continue to hide it. We cannot smash voices down when they are trying to scream, listen to me, you don't get it. I'm a white woman. I don't get it. I am pleased and honored to be here today to have the conversation. I am so excited that we're here and I am listening because that's my job. My job is to listen to the issues. My job is to listen and be a voice. And my job is to shut other white people down when they want to interrupt. Okay, so this woman wants to hear voices, wants to hear the voices of people, unless you're white. And she wants to be part of a conversation where she tells other white people to shut up. Yeah, that sounds like, that sounds very productive. How, how progressive does that sound? When a group of people who has a skin color that I don't like, I tell them to shut up. And white people don't have issues. Everything is perfect for white people. You can broadly generalize all white people. They're all, they all have the same condition. None of them need help. None of them need representation. We all just need to shut up because we're white. This, folks, is the future leadership of the Democrat Party. Shut other white people down when they want to say, oh, no, I'm not prejudiced. I'm a Democrat. I'm accepting. My job is to make sure that they get, that they have privilege. And until we shut our mouths and we listen to those people who don't and we lift our people up so that we all have equity in this country, so that we are all fighting alongside each other, so that we are all on the same page and we clearly get where we're going, we're not going to break through this. Again, I just, I cannot get over the lack of self-awareness. This woman's talking about unity while telling white people to shut up. She's talking about equity while telling white people to shut up. I, uh, I, I have a really hard time understanding uh, how we're going to bring an end to racism by promoting a whole new era of acceptable mainstream racism. Now I'm not going to play, there's a, about another minute left of this video, but she pretty much just uh, stays on the same diatribe and I don't want to force anybody else to have to sit through that. I will end though on a, a clip from CNN of Simone Sanders, which was uh, Bernie Sanders' press secretary. Uh, she, uh, <clears throat> she said on CNN that she doesn't think white people should be leading the Democratic Party. This is clearly going to be the Democrats' agenda going forward. Uh, diversity means getting rid of the white people. Uh, like Simone Sanders says, Democratic Party is diverse, so we got to get rid of white people. 
We don't need white people leading the Democratic Party right now. The Democratic Party is diverse, and it should be reflected as so in our leadership and throughout the, the staff at the, top, at the highest levels, from the vice chairs to the secretaries, all the way down to the people working in the offices at the Hey, thanks for watching uh, my review video here, folks. If you like it, let me know. If, you, uh, if I could do anything that would make it better, you have any constructive criticism, please post it in the comments. Uh, please like and share and subscribe. Thanks a lot. Thank <laughs> you.